Hello, everybody. So, I told you guys that we were going to do a Facebook Live. I was going to do a tutorial on how to make white white cream sauce. Um, and so, we're going to give time for a couple people to come on. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to go invite some people. So, hold on real quick. How many people we got on so far? Got three people. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing today? So I'm going to do this tutorial for you guys on how to do white cream sauce. Are y'all excited? Y'all going to make some for your families at home? You should. You definitely should. We're going to get ready to get started. So I got the pan warming up a little bit. All right. So, you all right. Oh, boy. So I hope y'all had a good day so far. Good, good day. Good, good day. I am just inviting some people who said that they wanted to come on and be a part. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to get started. So I'm doing a white wine cream sauce today. So first I have my pan. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about a half a stick of butter into this pan. And I know everybody doesn't use butter, but I like to use butter for my for my um, white wine cream sauce. And so listen, here's a disclaimer. This is my recipe to white wine cream sauce, how I like to do it. So if you like to do yours a different way, I'm sure yours is really, really good. So, I mean, there are so many different recipes how to do white wine cream sauce. Um, so this is just my recipe of how I like to make white wine cream sauce. So I have a half a stick of butter in there and if you can come up a little bit so everybody can see. Can you see in the pan? Yeah. Good. So it's melted. So then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of minced garlic. Okay. We're going to swish that around in there. Okay. And so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little roux. And a roux is something that's kind of like a thickening agent. So I like to make a roux because I like my white wine cream sauce a little bit thick, um, a little bit thicker. Um, you can do it to, you know, to your discretion how you like it. So I'm going to take about a teaspoon of flour and swish it around in there so I can make a roux. And I have my stove on about medium. Okay. So I'm going to do another teaspoon. Okay. Now, if y'all have questions, y'all can ask questions because I have a cameraman too. So y'all can ask questions if you have any questions. And what this roux does is it just helps that when we get ready to put everything in there that it's thick. That it's a little bit thick. So that was about two teaspoons, okay? So now I'm going to add a half a cup of white wine. Ooh. Mm. And once I do that, as soon as I do that, I want to add in a cup of chicken broth. And why you want to do that is because it will thicken up real quick. And so I know you're probably like, oh, that looks kind of brown, but that's okay because that's the butter. But once we get our whipping cream in there, it's going to make it turn white. Okay. So that was one cup of chicken broth. And I'm gonna put two. I'm gonna put two cups in there. Okay, I'm gonna put another cup in there. And so you can put as much in there as you want, depending on um, how much you want to make. So I'm just doing two cups. I can't see y'all, so I don't know how many how many people we got on. Twenty one. We got twenty one people. Okay. So I'm gonna put two cups. So that's two cups of chicken broth. All right. So we just cooking it up. And so as you'll see, it's going to start to thicken a little bit. 
Okay, and I like to keep a rag here to make sure I'm cleaning up my area. Okay, so we have it on about medium to medium high. Okay, and we're going to let it start to thicken up a little bit. Our roux is going to thicken it up a little bit. Do you have any questions so far? Y'all ain't got no questions? Give no. me some likes or some something. Sparkle says Tyrus is taking notes. Tyrus is taking notes. <laughs> Tyrus, you're the chef. You are like the chef that works in like a restaurant. I should be getting some tips from you. Okay. So we are going to let that thicken up a little bit. And we are going to get ready. So this is whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. And so this is about 16 ounces, which is really about two cups. And so I am actually going to add the whole two cups in there. Um, because... I just am now some people might use milk milk but I like to use heavy whipping cream because it helps to thicken it a little bit um, Rudy my uh, man my cameraman is over here laughing <laughs> okay so yeah, when I talked they heard it they knew it was me oh they knew it was you mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so we're gonna let it just thicken up a little bit. We're gonna let it cook just a little bit. And so what I already did is I already made my noodles. You can use whatever kind of noodles you want. You can use fettuccine noodles. You can use angel hair pasta. You can use bow tie noodles. You can use rigatoni. You can use pine pasta, pine noodles. So I decided today that we're gonna have um, bow tie pasta. Um, and we are going to have grilled chicken. So you can do this with grilled chicken. You can do it with shrimp. You can even do it with steak, salmon, whatever it is you want to do. But before I came on here, I went ahead and grilled my chicken so I can have it ready. And so y'all wouldn't be on here while I'm grilling chicken and doing everything else too. Um, so see, as you can see, it's starting to bubble a little bit and it's starting to thicken up. Okay. All right. So we can turn it down a little bit. Okay. Lily, back upstairs, y'all. Lily is down. Mommy, okay, it's okay. We'll we'll finish it, okay? You see? This is this is what this is what we do. It's a family affair, right? It's a family affair. Alright, so we we'll turn it down a little bit. And now here we go for the whipping cream. This is the whole carton, which is 16 ounces, which is two cups. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this in here. Okay. And so we are just going to let this simmer a little bit. And we're going to add whatever seasonings that we want to add to it. So I'm going to add a little pepper. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. You can add to your taste. Any of you cooks out there, you know we don't really uh, measure, but I'm doing a cookbook, so I'm going to have to end up measuring how much I'm putting in here. Okay? So, we got that going. We have question. a question. Yes. What is your question? He said, uh, how much wine did she put in? I put in a half a cup of wine. Okay? White wine. Um, you can use any white wine um, that you like. Um... It's usually dry, a dry wine. Um, but yeah, I just used a half a cup. You have any other questions? So, so far I put a half a stick of butter and then I put two teaspoons of flour and I made a roux. And then after that, I put a half a cup of um, white wine in and then I put two cups of chicken broth, chicken stock, whatever you wanna put in there. Um, and also remember I put about a teaspoon of minced garlic in there and then we did two cups of heavy whipping cream okay and then we put some salt and we put some pepper in there and so now we just want it to give it time to thicken up and then our next thing that we're going to do so sometimes what i like to do to mine to make it um you know give it a little more creamier effect i like to also add cream cheese what y'all think about that like it cream cheese yes um, you don't have to, but I like to add some cream cheese to mine to make it a little bit, you know, thick and creamy a little bit. Um, not too thick, but um, creamy. And remember, you can use as much um, chicken stock or whatever it is that you want, depending on how thick you want it. Um, you can do that. So, 
here we go it's simmering down a little bit we'll turn it to about eight um so, yes lily can you get see i have my daughter here can you get brit to help you okay. okay i'll be finishing just a minute okay that was our in, that was our commercial break <laughs> all right so we have one eight ounce package of cream cheese um, and so we're going to add that in there. And once we add that in there, we're going to give that time to melt a little bit. Okay. So we, Lily, I need for you to go back upstairs. Okay. See what, see what I'm going through y'all. That's, that's, that's Facebook live. Okay. All right. So we gonna kind of break this up in here a little bit. Okay, so it can get a little thick. All right. You see that garlic in there, that minced garlic we got in there. Okay, you see that cream cheese? Because it's already, the, the mixture is already kind of hot. You see how it's melting kind of quick in there? Mmm, y'all see how that's coming together? Ooh, it's gonna be good. Mmm. Any questions so far? And then after we add this in there, once this is all melted, we are gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Oh yes. I like to add Parmesan cheese to mine. Now you don't have to add Parmesan cheese to it, but I like to add Parmesan cheese to mine. Okay. Mm. Go add that. And some of you, if you want to, you can put a little garlic salt in yours. Um, whatever kind of seasons you like to add. I sometimes, I don't, didn't have any today, but I sometimes like to add some cilantro to mine. It gives it a really good taste to it if you add cilantro. Um, you can get some fresh cilantro or they even have, um, they have dried cilantro too. You can get some of that. And you, I usually get mine from the um, international section like Food Line or Walmart or something like that. Um, but you can do that too. So, see, uh -oh. we dropped a little bit. Do we got some questions on there? No? No, ma'am. Okay. So, there we go. Ooh, it's starting to thicken up a little bit. A little closer. Yeah, it's starting to thicken up. Look at that nice white sauce. We want to get all that melted. Yes. Go sit down, okay? Okay. What I'm going to get right quick is I'm going to get me a spoon. Because I want to taste it. Ooh, y'all, that's good. I don't need to add anything else. Oh, my gosh. That is good. That is really good. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn it down to simmer. Okay, and this is about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese, okay? I'm not talking about the Parmesan cheese that your grandma used to use when you used to make spaghetti in a little container that you sprinkle on. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about real Parmesan cheese grated, okay? So this is about a half a cup, okay? And we just gonna put that in there and then it's gonna become like you're gonna see the cheese in it. <laughs> yes, that's gonna be so good. And guess what? Mr. Rudy gets to sample it. Okay. Okay, uh, we have a question, question. from Maxine. What's your question? She said, when will your cookbook be out? <laughs> So I am in the process of working on another book that I have. Um, it's a fitness and um, workout and worship um, book. And so I plan to have that done by the summer. And so as soon as that one is done, I plan to get started on my cookbook, which I already have some of the recipes. I just have to organize it. So I would definitely say it'll be out. I'm going to say by the beginning of next year. And this will be in there. Okay. 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 So, 
Now it is on simmer. Our sauce is done. So we're going to go back and recap. So a half a stick of butter, two teaspoons of flour to make a roux, a half a cup of white wine, two cups of chicken stock, okay, and then two cups of heavy whipping cream. And then after that, we put one package, which is eight ounce package of cream cheese, and then we put a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to make a plate for you guys. Plate for who? Yes. So... We have some noodles right here, already cooked, some bow tie pasta noodles. Then I'm just gonna, oh, that sauce looks so good. Okay. Mm. All right, so we're just gonna take this and we're gonna put it over our noodles. I gotta get a shot of that. Yeah, we're gonna put it over our noodles, right this. And then we are gonna get, got some chicken that I've already cooked. Okay. And we are going to put that on there. We have another question. Okay, what's your question? In the meantime, before your cookbook is out, how can we access some of your recipes by Miss Yolanda? Okay. In the meantime, so I have a um, YouTube page, actually, that I did like a couple years ago, like well, five years ago. And what I did was um, I put some of my recipes on there. This recipe is not on there, um, but if it's anybody that actually just wants the recipe, I don't mind giving it to you. You can inbox me and I can give you this recipe. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch places with Mr. Rudy. And I'm going to let him taste it and see what he thinks. And remember, so I have mushrooms and stuff that I'm going to add to mine as well. I'm going to add mushrooms and maybe some spinach. You can top it with bacon or whatever it is that you want to top it with. So I'm going to switch places with Mr. Rudy. <laughs> we switching places, y'all. Okay. And we are going to get him to taste. Am I going to continue with my channel? Whenever I get a chance, I may be able to continue it now that, you know, we're kind of out of school with this COVID-19 thing that's going on. Okay, Mr. Rudy, so I need you to taste it. Okay. Uh-oh, you looking like, oh, I don't know if this is going to be good. Actually, no, I know it's going to be good. I've had your food before. Okay. Um, so I'd rather have this than Alfredo. I'll say that. It's okay. That it's that good. Okay. I have to have another bite. Excuse me. Okay. He had to have another bite. I know my wife's on, so I know she knows what that means. <laughs> so that means it's good. Okay. So you'd rather have that than have Alfredo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he'd rather have this white wine cream sauce. Instead of Alfredo. So, Mr. Tyra says, where do I submit my application to be the cameraman slash taste tester? <laughs> oh, Tyrus, you want to be the taste tester to everything. <laughs> so, thank y'all so much for um, tuning in. Let's get a shot of Lily. Hey, Lily. Oh, gosh. So, again, this was... Um, you can keep eating if you want. So, this was... Me doing a tutorial. Hey, y'all. I'm going to turn it around so y'all can see me. So this was me doing a tutorial, you guys, of my white wine cream sauce that I make. So please go and like this video. You can share it. You can go to my YouTube page because I will have it up and I'll share the link. Um, but thank y'all for coming on during this time. So I hope to find out that somebody makes this white wine cream sauce. There, Lily. Lily wants to say, hey, go that go. Wait a minute, Lil. <laughs> My daughter. You see what this is? It's Facebook Live. For real live. But thank y'all. I hope everybody has a great night. And look out for the video. It'll be coming up on Facebook soon. And you can access it at any time. See y'all later. Okay, Lil. Bye. Bye-bye. Let's see. Let's finish.